Let's take a look at seventh chords. And we're going to start in the key of C. Chords, the chords that I'm going to review here will be based on the major scale. So in the key of C, I have the letter names in order sequentially, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then back to the root note of C. So chords are basically two or more notes that are sounded together at the same time. And the seventh chords begins with the root. So I'm going to start with the chord that is built on the first note C in the key. And then for the seventh chord, I'm going to build it in thirds. So the way that you count up thirds is you start on the letter name of the first note C and then you count up to three to the third note, one, two, three. So in this case, C to E. And then from E, you count up a third, E, F, G. So now I got C, E, G, all right? So this particular chord is called a triad because tri meaning three. So it's the first three notes that are built up on thirds from C, C, E, G. So then I'm going to go ahead and, okay, let me also say that the scale numbers is what tells you that we're going to make it a seventh chord. So this is the one um, of the scale, right? This is the three of the scale. This is the five of the scale. So then we're going to add the seventh of the scale. So in this case is B. So now the seventh chord is C, E, G, B. So there's the seventh chord built on starting on the key of the note C in the key of C or C major. My thing, my hand fingerings is using my fingers one, two, three, and five. Okay, so now that I have that seventh chord built on C, I can go up and play each chord built on each note of the C major scale. So I'm going to use the same hand position, the one, two, three, five position, and play the seventh chords built on each note in the key of C. So there's my C7 chord. Now I'm going to move up to D. There's my seventh chord starting on D. And again, I'm playing the one, three, five, seven notes of, um, of the notes starting on D. Now, keep in mind that it's still in the key of C, right? I'm just starting on the second degree of it. So there's my D7 chord. Move up to E. One, three, five, seven notes of starting on E. Now I go to F and then G, A. B, and then C. Now, later on, I'll talk about the quality of these seventh chords because there are different types of seventh chords. Uh, just a preview on that. That's a C major seven, and then uh, starting on C, and then in D, starting on D, that's a D minor seven. Okay, so you can see that there's different type, types of uh, quality of seventh chords. But at least I've given you the basic breakdown of the seventh chords in the key of C. 
Now, let me quickly show, just to demonstrate that the same pattern applies to any key that you're in. So I'm gonna skip over to the key of B flat. So in the key of B flat, I have B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, and then back to the B flat. Those are the notes in the key of B flat. So if I play the seven chord starting on B flat, I'm gonna play on the one scale degree, B flat, the three scale degree, which is D, the five scale degree, which is F, and then the seven scale degree, which is A. So with the same hand position, all right, I'm playing a B7 chord, which in this case is a B major seven. Again, I'll talk about the qualities later, all right? So now I'm gonna go up to the next note in the key of B flat, which is C. So in this case, I'm playing now, think letter names, right? C, E, G, B. But I'm gonna play a C, E flat, because E flat is what E is in the key of B flat, in the key of B flat. C, E flat, G, B flat. Okay? So, um, B flat seven chord, C seven chord, D seven chord, E flat seven chord, F seven chord. Let me see, let me make sure I get this right. F A C. E, so I know that E's got to be flat. Okay. The G7 chord, G, B flat, D, F. See, I'm always making sure that every chord, as I'm counting up in thirds, I got to make sure that uh, the note, whether it's the natural, the flat, or in some cases the sharp note, it depends on what key I'm in. So I'm always remembering I'm in the key of B flat that has two flats. So I had left off on the G seven chord, in this case, a G minor seven. The A um, seven chord, and this one is, uh, it sounds, uh, let's see, A, C, E, G, but in this case, the E is flat. So there's my A7 chord, which we'll talk about later as a diminished seven chord. And then I'm back to my B flat major seven chord. So just a quick recap, uh, I'm talking about the seventh chords in a particular key. So in this case, I demonstrated the seventh chords in the key of C and the seventh chords in the key of B flat.